Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Kroger haul and another meal prep video. This time we were meal prepping because we went to Disney World for the week of July 4th. So in this video, you're gonna see a lot of meal prepping going down. I have a list here because I know that I'm gonna mess up. We made some shredded pork. We made some crock pot chicken. We made our favorite hidden veggie turkey meatballs. We make them pretty much every time our kids go crazy for them. We made lots of veggies and fruits for sides, breakfast wraps, pancakes, waffles, and some deli sandwiches. We didn't go like as crazy as we did the last time. If you wanna check out even more meal prep inspiration, I'll link a video down below for the last time we did a big meal prep. This time we knew we were gonna be in Disney, so we wanted to indulge in some of the Disney treats and Disney meals that they offer, obviously. So we didn't go like as buck wild as we have in the past, but I did wanna share in case you need some inspiration on just a few ways that you can cut corners when you go on vacation. Like for us, if we even just eliminate the idea of having to buy breakfast somewhere, breakfast is getting pretty pricey. So having breakfast wraps ready to go, it was so nice to just pop those in the microwave before we left. Or if you have an air fryer where you are, pop them in the air fryer even better. And then you can save yourself sometimes 15 to $20 for that one meal. So even something like that, if you just focus on one thing at a time, having food for the kids was a huge relief. We kept a cooler underneath the stroller. Also, one thing that we prep in this video, but we didn't actually like make in the video, is I had bought some chicken drumsticks that you'll see in the grocery haul portion. And we used my guava barbecue sauce that I made in our anti-haul video, which will also be linked down below. And these drumsticks came out so, so good in the video you'll see how I cook barbecue ribs with that barbecue sauce and I essentially did the same process with the chicken and they came out so good I also just want to take a second because this is my channel and I can do what I want I have a permit to do what I want and just recognize my husband because you're gonna see this meal prep video and like 75% of it was completely done by him because I was working on a bunch of other stuff at the time. In our relationship, I love to cook. So I generally take the lead when it comes to cooking because it's something that brings me joy. He likes to cook, but doesn't like love to cook, but he's never done like a big holiday or a big, huge meal prep completely by himself, but he stepped in and did it and it was just amazing and i just needed to take a second to recognize his efforts because it truly means the world to me so i did one of those ask me anything posts on instagram the other day and i got a really good amount of questions and one of them asked me how do you get it all done as a wife a mom and a content creator and First of all, I don't get everything done. And I think that's like the harmful part about social media is a lot of people are just sharing like a highlight reel, right? I, it would be boring for me to post a video where I heat up frozen pizza or chicken nuggets that I throw on a salad because I don't have the energy to cook that night. But that does happen in this house. So I don't get everything done. But the way that I do accomplish a lot is because of John. John is like the ultimate partner. He is truly the ultimate partner. We don't keep a score with one another. It's not a matter of like, well, you did the dishes last night. It's my turn to do them tonight. It's just a, if there's something that needs to be done, we tackle it. I think both of us have a deep mutual respect for one another. He works outside the home. He works in a very physically demanding job and it's also a mentally demanding job because he's in a leadership role. And I take my role as the stay at home parent while he's at work, I take that very seriously too. I'm very respectful towards the fact that he's busting his butt outside the house. So when I'm at home by myself in between handling the kids, I try to hustle and get as much done as possible too. And then when he gets home from work, we both tackle things together and then hope to be able to relax together afterwards. So it's like just team all day long. You know, we're very respectful of one another. I do have to recognize the fact that it shouldn't be as rare as it is, but it is rare that a spouse that works outside the home takes on the domestic tasks with the tenacity and passion that John does. You know, John like just goes at it and it's like no big deal. He loves to do it. He loves to provide for his family in a multitude of ways. And I am so grateful for it. And I know we hear a lot of stories of people complaining about their spouses. So I just wanna help the narrative that that is not the case over here. And if your standards are set low, raise them up to John's level, okay? 
Let the people know out there. Let your spouses know that Johns exist. They're not unicorns. We have been together 20 years. It took us a long time to get to the partnership that we have, but I am very, very grateful for it. It does not mean our marriage is perfect by any means. We have a lot of areas we could work on, but when it comes to the partnership, the co-parenting aspect, it's the best. So as usual, that was the longest ramble of all time. You guys, if you've been here before, you already expected it, right? If you are new here, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail and giving me a chance. My name is Kate. I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids, two and under. Over here, I usually share a lot of haul videos. I go to Costco a lot. A Costco video will be coming for you on Sunday, and it's a big one. I do Sam's Club, Trader Joe's just posted one of those recently. Also, like in today's video, I do meal prep, recipe inspiration. So if you end up enjoying this video, feel free to check out the rest of my channel because I have plenty more content just like it. Also, if you see any of the videos that say plus a taste test, that's a special comical treat usually where John and I get in front of the camera and try out some treats. We just did one at Trader Joe's and the feedback was that it was pretty funny. So go find out for yourself. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, my friends, I'm excited. We have a very large Kroger haul for me at least. I usually try to spend like less than 75 when I order from Kroger, but they had a lot of deals going on and we're gonna be doing um, more like fun meals while we're in our RV. We're gonna be on vacation. So they end up being a little bit more pricey than my regular groceries. So I do think, however, actually, I don't think it was $90. I think it was like 85. I think 85 for the amount that I got is actually really good. So let's take a look at some of the grocery deals I got today. They were having a sale because July 4th is coming up on um, like hot dog type things. So I grabbed these smoked sausages. I think they were like $3.99 or something like that. So I grabbed this turkey cheddar and this double cheddar. I also grabbed, these are our favorite, these cheddar bratwurst from Kroger. We really like those. I got some pork sausages. We're going to make these and then put them in like breakfast burritos so they're easy to wrap up. I also grabbed our favorite 10 pound 10 pound, $10, three pound tub of ground turkey. We also grabbed some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna be taking the guava barbecue sauce that I recently made in my anti-haul video because I have plenty of that left over. And we're gonna be making some delicious chicken drumsticks while we are in our RV camping. I also grabbed some cold brew and some creamer. That's gonna be for the RV. For the drive down, I grabbed some energy drinks in case we need them. And then I also grabbed myself some of these seltzers. They're pink, apple, and lemon. They were on sale for $2.50 for eight cans. So I grabbed that because I have been liking like sparkling water and stuff lately. So I want to try that one out. I also grabbed these little deep dish pizzas. We're just going to keep it in the freezer of the RV just in case we need like a super easy dinner or lunch or something. We might not end up using it, but I wanted to have it on hand just in case. I ran out of brown sugar and it'll be probably about a week or so until I can get to Sam's Club or Costco. So I just grabbed a small bag of that. Grabbed some sweet corn. This is gonna be for while we're in the RV. We will grill these. I grabbed a bunch of bananas for the kids. I got a couple lemons and some zucchini. We're thinking we're gonna do some like fish foil packets on the grill in the RV. Also grabbed some broccoli that's gonna be to prep for the kids. Big watermelon that was on sale for $3.99. The kids love watermelon and I do too. It's so quintessential summer. So I grabbed that for snacking. We also got a cheeser, a, a cheeser, a Caesar chopped kit that we can just throw a protein on top of it when we're in the RV and it's perfect and it's good past the time we're gonna be in the RV. I grabbed some sweet potatoes. Those are all for the kids. I grabbed some of our favorite pasta. We have a couple bags still, but just in case I decide to make like a pasta salad, I love rotini for pasta salad. So I grabbed a bag of that. And then these guys over here were on sale for 99 cents each, which I thought was a great deal. So I got two hot dog bun packs and three hamburger packs because it was a limit of five. Um, and my plan is we'll probably like use this like it's bread and do some sandwiches for the road. And then anything that we don't use can go in the freezer. You can store bread really nicely in the freezer. And at 99 cents, I wasn't passing that up. And then for some meal prep as well, I grabbed some Spanish rice packets. So that is everything that I grabbed from Kroger this evening. So this meal prep party was super straightforward. We tried to make it as simple as possible on ourselves. 
So John got the party started in our crock pots. If you aren't utilizing your crock pot for meal prep, let me tell you, it's a game changer. It's so nice to just get a protein started in them while you move on to other things and not have to babysit. In the crock pots, John took one of the freezer meals I had previously put together to make a shredded pork for us as a protein, which we ended up using to make barbecue pork sliders and some wraps while we were in the RV. In the other, he plops in some chicken breast with Italian dressing, honey, and garlic. We didn't have enough lime on hand, otherwise that would have gone in there too, a little bit of lime juice. By the way, I will have a link to my Amazon storefront in the description box if any of the tools that I use during this strike your fancy. After the proteins got in their hot tub, he moved on to putting together some meal packs for the kids. We keep it really simple for them. We usually just do lean proteins like chicken or turkey meatballs and then either pasta or rice for a starch and then some type of veggie on the side. We stored half of what you see in our RV's fridge for the first couple of days and then the other half in the freezer for the last half of the trip. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two He then made us some egg patties in one of my favorite tools, the Dash Mini Pancake Maker. These egg patties were perfect for the next step where I throw together some breakfast wraps which had cheese, the egg patties, a turkey sausage, and some sauce. I lied, it was the pork sausage you guys saw in the video earlier which we had just cooked up in the air fryer. I ended up using a taco sauce on some of those and then the Kinder's burger sauce on the others. They came out delicious and like I said before, it was so nice to just not even have to think about breakfast every morning. I then made some deli sandwiches for the road trip just with turkey, salami, and cheese. This was just so we didn't feel the need to grab fast food anywhere with our RV in tow. That would have probably been a very awkward sight to see. We also off camera had made some pancakes and mini waffles for the kiddos. So you can see all of our efforts in this clip here. As I mentioned, we always store half in the fridge to use up right away and the rest in the freezer. That way, if we don't end up needing it during the vacation, we can have it to use once we get home, which is always a bonus because it's hard to get back in the swing of things when you first get home from vacation. All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with me. It means the world to me as always. I hope that I delivered whatever you needed when you clicked on that thumbnail. If I did, please feel free to reward me with a thumbs up and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.